Hello, welcome to April's Ask Harmony video, where you can ask questions for the next Ask Harmony next month is in the comments below and on my Facebook and my Tumblr. I will provide the links in the description box. Let's get started because we only have 15 minutes and I want to get this done in one part. Um, it's Yara asks, because you've been bullied over the internet before, have you ever wanted to bully someone back or bully someone in general? Absolutely not. What it's driven me to do is help people with bullying, not cause more bullying. I want to terminate bullying altogether, even if it means I have to shoot them. Um, not really, I wouldn't shoot anybody. Um, Murphy asks, do you like grass heads? I had to look these up. Um, apparently they're little figures, um, that are like chia pets, only you grow grass on them instead of chia, and I like gardening, though I've never been fond of chia pets, so I don't think I'd like grass heads very much. Societal Puppet, what's your advice to people starting out, um, what's your advice to people trying to start their own YouTube channel? Um, the sky is the limit. Uh, be authentic you do what you want to do um, and ignore the hate don't give them the time of day just block them um, or ignore them altogether let the hate flow Stevie asks have you ever been or want to go to England if you have been what did you think or if you want to go or not why I've never been to England before, however, I want to go and just have a merry old time in England um, because I have a bunch of English friends, a bunch, I've known a lot of people that um, used to live in England or their parents lived in England um, and they're wonderful, beautiful people um, that just love to have a good time and celebrate with family and, you know, be happy and merry and drink, um, <laughs> drink a pint of ale. Um, although they think our ale totally sucks, but <laughs> and though I can't drink myself, um, <laughs> you know, uh, I would love to just go to England and just spend time with a bunch of my fans there and just have a merry old time eating comfort food. And, you know, I love, I love to, obviously I love to eat, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I love to, you know, spend time with people and have a great time, and I would love to go to, like, have, like, a signing at a restaurant or something, some sort of event, you know, meeting fans in, in the United Kingdom, because I get a lot of love from, from over there in England, and um, I love it, I do, I love you guys so much, and I would love to go to England and visit you guys. Um, Rococo Rosie the Riveter, I was wondering, of all the Japanese subcultures you like, which one is your most favorite? Currently, Gyaru. I like Gyaru. Gyaru old boys. <laughs> and I like to dress Gyaru, because it's, it's one of the simpler ones. Anonymous, um, asks, um, how have you changed since the Harmony Flash Pink days? I've matured. I grew up. Um, Anonymous asks, what's with the, with the fish tank in your bedroom? They're guppies. They like scummy water. Same with the beta back there. They like scummy water. <laughs> what's it like living in a small town? Hell. <laughs> um, Anonymous asks, um, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? My weight. I would lose more weight. I'm losing weight currently, as you can see. Double chin is disappearing. That's always a good thing. Um, Brie, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck of a woodchuck could chuck wood? A lot. Uh, Brie, do you like mudkips? I love mudkips. Um, Madison, does it bother you that your old Harmony Flash Pink videos are still on the internet? Would you rather them not be up at all? Or do you really not care? I'd rather them not be up. I don't want them up. Um, Caroline Ann, um, what are your top three favorite animes? Number one, Black Butler. Number two, Prince of Tennis. Number three, Inuyasha. <laughs> uh, Caroline Ann, where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> in my own place. <laughs> um, in my own place with my own income. Um, 
Caroline Ann, who is one of your inspirations? Oh, there's this, there's this person I know over the internet. His name is Hero, and he is my muse for all sorts of writings. He tells me stories of his horrible 16-year-old life. And everybody thinks they have a horrible life when they're 16, so, but he really does have a horrible life, like, his mom passed away in an accident, um, and, um, he's made fun of for not being pure Japanese, um, so he, yeah, he's half Western, so he gets made fun of for it, um, because his, his eyes are paler, and his hair is paler, and so, you know, he gets made fun of for it, um, and, um, so he tells me these horror stories of what middle school is like, and now he's got better stories for what high school is like, and it's like, high school is better than middle school, um, <laughs> but he tells me all of these, uh, all of these stories, and, um, it helps inspire me to write my stories, and he's like, you know, he's my little muse, and I love him to death. He's my biggest inspiration. Caroline Ann, um, what advice would you give t on being positive and confident? Affirmations. My two favorite ones are looking in the mirror. You are worthy. You are lovely. You are respectable. You are worthy. You are lovely. You are respectable. You are worthy, you are lovely, you are respectable. And you repeat that for about five to ten minutes in the mirror daily. Um, and eventually you start believing it. And then my absolute favorite is bravery is being afraid and doing it anyway. That one you don't have to look in the mirror. That's whenever you are afraid to do something and tell yourself you can't do it. You sit there, you take a deep breath. Bravery is being afraid and doing it anyway. Yes, it's got me through a lot. <laughs> they really do work. Jill, what is the best day of your life? Oh my gosh, I remember this so clearly. This is the tiniest thing to make it the best day of my life, but... <laughs> okay. So there was an immediate change in my drawing. So was, there was the drawing I was doing that was really, um, that, you know, was better than it had been, but it still wasn't the best. And then all of a sudden I drew this picture, I redrew the picture of my character, Hiro Asai, my uh, Prince of Tennis OC, and it turned out like amazing sauce compared to what I'd been doing. And that was the best day of my life when I realized that my work was then as good as it was in sixth grade before I got the tardive dyskinesia. Because I didn't have to t time to draw in seventh or eighth grade, but in eighth grade I started um, taking a medication called Abilify. If your doctor tries to prescribe you Abilify, do not take it do not take it. It will ruin your eyes. It will ruin your fine motor skills. It will make you shake. It will make you cold. It will make you go psychotic. So don't take it. Don't take it. <laughs> Say no. Say give me something else. <laughs> okay. So, um, it, it affected the way I drew and my drawing regressed instead of progressed. Well, my drawing had not been progressing for a while and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to stop telling myself that I can't do this anymore. I can do this and I did it. I did it and that was the best day of my life. <laughs> and my drawing has just been getting better and better since. <laughs> um, Alexander McQueen, 1221. How did you emotionally handle all the lashback from your Harmony Flashbeat videos? I didn't handle it good at first. At first, I wanted to defend myself, and then I got really depressed. 
and then, and then I got angry, and I fought, and I fought, and I fought, and then I realized something. They're picking on me because they're worthless. And that's how I handled it. I was like, they're, they must feel so horrible about themselves to be picking on me when I did absolutely nothing to them. I don't need to defend myself to them. They're not worth my time. This isn't worth it. So I gave up. I gave up talking to them. I, I just started blocking them or ignoring them and you know, I have like a three chance thing now where I don't block them right away. Um, I wait until they do something three times until I block them. So yeah. Yeah. Um, but now I like to, I don't say I have thick skin because it still kind of stings when it first lands on you, but I like to say that I have Teflon skin because it sticks it, it gets on there and it stings and it burns and then I just go and wipe it right off just like Teflon <laughs> it just wipes right off and I'm like okay done with that <laughs> so um this was April's Ask Harmony where I collected the videos in March I know you guys probably thought it was going to be March's but um some things came up in March um but um, next month, um, you can ask the questions like I said in the beginning. Um, in the description box, there will be links to my Facebook and my Tumblr, and you can ask me anonymously. If you want it to be anonymous on a place that you cannot ask anonymously, please put anonymous. Otherwise, I will announce either whatever your display says. However, I will not use last names if it's on Facebook. I will just use your first name. Um, um, so, yeah, um, please, uh, state that you want it to be anonymous. Again, you can ask me as many questions as you want. As you have noticed, there is one anonymous that asked me, like, a bajillion questions, and then thank you, Carolyn Ann, for asking a whole bunch of questions as well. Um, so, just ask as many as you like and don't be afraid to ask anything um although i don't like answering questions twice so if you ask a, a similar question to somebody else or the same question or a question that's already been answered in a previous video i will not answer it <laughs> because it's been answered and i can't remember when i answered in my um in my previous ask harmony series but at any rate um yeah, um, this is it, and I'll put the links in the description box for you.